We teamed up with Team Cricket to make this giant six foot wide farmhouse sign where we made our own subway tiles. We made the herringbone pattern. We created this chippy paintness and we did it all with one long continuous image. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we partnered with Cricket to make our own subway tile herringbone six foot wide 16 inches tall farmhouse sign <laughs> yes we are so excited cricket sent us the cricket maker 3 as you know it now has the smart vinyl so we're so looking forward to using that smart vinyl showing you how long you can make your cuts up to 12 feet wide ours is only six foot but we really want to showcase some of that functionality we're really excited about it and we're making our own tiles out of some shims and doing a herringbone pattern. We have never done any of that. So, out of our comfort zone this so, week. Good luck. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed three six foot long one by twos. We needed some underlayment because that was the cheapest plywood we could find. We got some wooden shims. This is how we're making our tiles. We have some wax paper and glue. Some finishing paste wax. This is gonna be for the chippy paint method. Some stain and our country chic paint. I'm using crinoline. We also needed some permanent vinyl. This is the smart vinyl, so I don't need a mat. And we needed some transfer tape. And I think that is it. For our tools, we needed more than normal so they get their own shout out. We have a miter saw, pocket saw. We needed a router, the Cricut Maker 3, this is so we don't need our mat, and Brad, our Brad nailer. Step two, we're gonna cut our backer. Uh, we cheated. We used this underlayment, this 1 8 inch underlayment, and we asked Home Depot to cut it for us. And they did. He did a wonderful job. <laughs> Much better than I could have done. And it was pretty affordable, so at the time we're filming this, we purchased this full 4x8 sheet of underlayment for $22. So that wasn't too bad, and I'm only using um, a third of it, not quite even because I chopped off some of the end, a third of it for our sign backer. So, so that's doable. We'll use it for something. Oh, we will be making more signs with it, sell those at the <laughs> farmer's market. <laughs> Step three, we're gonna make our tiles. We're gonna use these shims. Yeah, so we were looking for, I knew I wanted to do a herringbone pattern. I wanted to make a farmhouse sign with a real rustic farmhouse background. I wanted to do a herringbone pattern with wood, but the trick was finding the wood uh, and then finding it somewhat affordable because right now, you know, you've heard us talk about how the, the prices of wood are so high. So we looked at using these one by twos, but they were, one, they were too thick, it was gonna be too, too heavy. heavy yeah. So we went over to the trim section and we were looking at this quarter inch flat piece of trim that essentially looks like this. And it was- like $12 for eight foot was the cheapest we can find. So it was pretty expensive too. And then as we were just strolling on down the trim aisle looking for options, we came across these shims and I was like, well, what if we could glue them together and bring them back to a full piece of wood? And we thought, well, we'll get well, it was like, yeah, all right, we could try it. Work. We could try it. <laughs> then we noticed that each shim was just cut in half. It is its other half. So we're just gonna glue them back together. Yeah, I think this is going to be, it's going to give this, because these are pretty, um, I don't know, what is it, like roughly trimmed? They're, yeah. they're not very neat, which I did, like I said, I wanted that farmhouse look, so this is going to have that rough texture to it. And then I think it's going to be pretty simple to glue them together. And then I think we could, these are 12 inches. I think they have a smaller, yeah, um, a smaller size, um, but I want six inches. So I think I can just cut this right in half, glue it, cut it in half, and these are gonna be our tiles for the farmhouse sign back. And I think it's gonna give it that, oh, yeah. it's good texture. I'm excited about work, it. Because each one is a little bit unique. <laughs> it is a little bit unique. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna lay these out slowly. Make sure you keep it with its partner though. 
Yeah, that's the trick. You don't want to. You don't want to lose his friend. Yeah, keep your partners. Everybody, stay with your partner. Yeah, who's your buddy? <laughs> buddy system. <laughs> Just gonna brush the glue on each one of these little uh, shims. Whoa! Oh no, my top broke. <laughs> well, then right. why do you have the plate of glue over there? Well, because I was just gonna get it started, and then my top fell off. Oh, All right. It's always so something. <laughs> I'm gonna spread the glue around on this half, and then I'm gonna put that half back over top. We're gonna use our wax paper and kind of accordion them together to clamp them. The wax paper will keep them from gluing to each other. We only want them gluing to their, their soulmate. Yes, <laughs> their soulmate. Some of them are have a little more glue on the insides than others, so when you clamp it, it's going to ooze out a little bit, and this will keep it from sticking to its neighbor. Yeah. Precision here that I didn't realize was involved. Yeah, didn't know it. Look at this. And oh my goodness, the sheet! Oh, sniggity snap. Look at that. That's one, yeah, right here. Oh. Perfect. Like the Wim perfect bam. size. Somebody knows what they're doing. <laughs> Say my first rodeo. <laughs> I'm gonna clamp it on the ends now. Yeah, let's push that up in there. All right, stay with your buddy. Stay with your buddy. Stay with your buddy. How many field trips do you think Garrett's been on? <laughs> a lot. I have been on a lot of field trips. <laughs> How many field trips do you think I've been on? I've had six kids. Leave your answer in the comments below. How many field trips <laughs> has Garrett been on? Wait. How many field trips has Garrett been on or actually chaperoned? Sometimes I was allowed to come along, but I wasn't allowed to chaperone. Oh. I'm gonna use this plank, this plank, and this hammer, just to kind of knock them all down, keep them all even. Hold your ears, babe. All right. It's good and beaten. How long will that have to dry? I'd say like, I don't know, an hour. Let's give it an hour. We'll be back in an hour. Well, we have like three other packs to do. Blue is dry. <laughs> <laughs> the best part right here. Nothing stuck together, yay! Yay! Here's the bad part. You have to cut all of these in half. Not too bad, right? Can't you do multiples at one time? This is just one pack. Oh yeah, I guess we're gonna do multiples at one time. Not too bad, I guess. We're gonna make all of our cuts with pocket saw. He's back. Now to make sure that all of these are exactly the same size at five and three quarter inches, I'm gonna use a stop block at five and three quarter inches. So everything should be identical. Should, should. How could it not be? How could it not be? Who's gonna know? Man, oh, look at that, pretty dead that on. Perfectly, yeah. Look at that. Oh, did I? Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah, I'll just do a couple at a time. Safety first, Fred. Oh! <laughs> Safety first. Just gonna start with like uh, five at a time. Try it out. Give her your old test. Step four. 
that we glue. We're gonna glue down all of these. I don't even know how many they are. Hundreds. Thousands of these little tiles. Well, 42 times three. Times four. Oh, times four. So yeah, 84, so 168. 168 tiles. Times two. What is it, times two? 300 and... 3,700. Something like that. First, Doesn't we're gonna matter. find center. <laughs> we're gonna find where the eight inches is and run it down the middle of the board. That way we'll be able to line all the tiles up. And while he's doing that, the idea for, for this video actually came from one of our patrons. Helen, thank you so much for this idea. I'm excited about it because I really did want to showcase what this Cricut Maker 3 can do with a long, uh, a long cut. And so I think this is the perfect project to do that. And uh, Helen showed us the toasty flannel. She actually shows how she does the chippy paint technique. So I'm excited to show you guys that here when we get to that step. So those are my shout outs while you're measuring. I'm measuring shout outs. <laughs> All right, that's about that's center. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I mean, that it doesn't works. have to be perfect. I just want to make yeah. sure that um, we've done a little test here and for the herringbone pattern, it ends up being what, four? I don't have it right right now. It's four, four, what are these, tiles across. So I wanna make sure that the center of the four tiles lines up with the center of the board so the pattern looks symmetrical. stain well now Kim stain she's gonna use this gel stain it's supposed to stay where you put it yeah in coffee right colors coffee the purpose of this is to really put that dark base on this so with this chippy paint technique I'm gonna stain this a really dark color and then I'm going to add wax and put paint over it and then chip the wax off so that you can see the dark through it so you're gonna Stain it, then you're gonna wax on, then you're gonna wax, wax off. off. Yes. Oh, you're gonna paint, then wax off. Yes. But yes. right now you're just gonna stain this and the frame. And the frame. I'm gonna go ahead and stain the frame at the same time. All right. I'll stay stain free. All right. You just stand back. Step six. We're gonna use this router with this flush trim bit and trim up all the edges. Get rid of all the uh, little corners and riffraff. Vicious luck. <laughs> I don't we're, know about we've this We've never one. done this before. Okay. First time using this kind of bit and, and a router. Have we used a router yet? No, only for our X-Carve, so oh, yeah. routers are new for us. Yeah, new, new, so, so if we can pull this off. You, you can pull this off. <laughs> so as we continued the pattern, we could see that there were going to be little tiny triangles of the backer showing. So when we trimmed the edges, we used the little triangle pieces that we trimmed to fill in the little pieces that were missing on the other side. So if you were going to make this, maybe 16 is a little too deep. Maybe go 14 or something and then I think the shims with the dimensions that they are will fit right in between the backer and not leave those little triangles. Step seven and now we give it some waxing. We have all of our shims glued, all the spaces filled, stained and now we're gonna apply 
a little cut some dabs all over this board all over this backer of this wax now I would have used clear wax but they didn't have any so we're gonna just use this um, no I wouldn't get too chunky it looks yeah. chunky okay yeah like all that right. now what? we're gonna use this what's special dark Whoop. so you just want like clumps of it uh-huh Okay, looks like we smeared fudge brownie over this whole thing. <laughs> it does. <laughs> looks like, like some kind of chocolate. Yes, it does look like some sort of chocolate. Okay, so we're gonna give this wax about 15 minutes to dry, and then we're gonna coat, coat it with paint. Mm. All right, I gotta go wash my hands. Now we paint. So the wax is dry. And we're gonna put the white crinoline, we're using crinoline? Yes. Over top of everything now. And I'm gonna thin it out a little bit. So we got a little spray bottle, put a little paint in this. Put a little water in the paint? Yeah, we put some paint in our paint tray, and now I'm gonna mix it with a little water. All right, we're just doing strokes? Yep. Oh, I would test that brush first. Looks like there's a little pink on it. There is definitely some unicorn spit on it, so we will see if it gets onto our wood. It's definitely pink. It's okay. definitely getting on the wood. <laughs> yep. I don't okay. know why you would try it on the wood. I thought it was going in. <laughs> this definitely won't come off. <laughs> coat of paint on here so we need to let this dry I don't know how long that's going to take maybe an hour I don't know I'm, go I'm gonna go get a fan for real set it up see if we could speed this up all right speed it up you got to speed it up Ooh, speed up step eight <laughs> now we scrape I'm oh not, thank you I'm not gonna throw this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been under the two fans for about an hour there's some dark spots that looks like the wax is holding some moisture, but Kim's ready to try it. So <laughs> we're going in. <laughs> Throwing it at me. The paint is dry, so yeah, the, let's the see. The paint is dry. I don't really need the wax to be dry. dry I just no. need to. So am I scraping it off? Yeah, let's do it. In preparation for the vinyl, we're going to give this board a coat of the polycrylic in order to give it a, some sort of a coating that will hopefully help that vinyl stick better because this is kind of chalky and waxy and waxy so this polycrylic will help. Step 9. We're going to cut our design and talk about today's sponsor, Cricut and the Maker 3. Yes, I'm really excited uh, to try out this new Maker 3. Uh, this machine is the same size as the previous Maker, but it does come in this new blue color. Mm -hmm. And all of these new smart materials. The great thing about the Cricut Maker 3 is that you can use smart vinyl and you do not have to use a mat. You no can mat. still use a mat, but you don't have to use a mat. I hate using a mat because they always become unsticky. Well, ours do. We can't seem I to can't get that get figured out. I yeah. watched them. I watched YouTube videos. We can't get it figured out. Yeah. Anyway, some of our smart materials for the Cricut Maker 3 would be Smart HTV, which comes in as holographic, glitter, and your typical vinyl colors. Also, your smart vinyl comes in longer rolls. So the great thing about this Cricut Maker 3, it now has this tray where you can put your roll of vinyl in here. Like infinite feed? Well, up to 12 feet. It will cut up to 12 feet long. 11.7 inches wide so just slightly wider than the previous maker but it does come in these longer rolls so you can get rolls up to 75 feet oh 75 uh, feet how heavy is a roll that is 75 feet we know that we've had vinyl that's been in those big that's hefty heavy. rolls yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this one what you see in here right now is 21 feet this is what our local craft store had 
and then we have what is this one 12 feet and 3 feet is your typical roll and the thing about this new smart vinyl is it comes in a 13 inch width now so um, they did start creating crickets now making a 13 inch trimmer uh -huh. And the HTV is also 13 inches. And then the other thing that's an, another smart material that we haven't had the opportunity to try yet, but I'm really looking forward to it, is the smart cardstock, sticker cardstock. So you'll cut this, no mat, and you peel it off and it's already a sticker. Oh. Yeah. That's Isn't that cool. great? Yeah. And it comes in all of these colors. I think there's a different variety packs. Hey, that's how we should be making our price tags. Okay, so this is a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> because it still uses all the same tools as the previous maker so there are up to 13 different tools 300 different types of materials I'm checking all my notes to make sure I've got it right this the Cricut Maker 3 does cut two times faster than the original Cricut Maker and it is 10 times the force of the Cricut Air Explore Air 2. Oh, so it can cut deeper? Or it can score deeper? Yeah, deeper, thicker, heavy materials, your leathers. It's just stronger. It's a little bit stronger. So Maybe you don't have to do so many passes on leather. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. All right, so we're going to cut our vinyl to put on our farmhouse sign. Hey, what's this? Is this a cutter on the thing? Yes, so this tray I'm going to show you right now. It's a good segue into the next step. <laughs> so in theory, I could just use this as my cutter, right? I don't even need that other cutter. Well, you can't measure it. You don't know how long your piece is. Oh, true. Well, I would just cut my piece and then cut it. So this little tray has grooves underneath and it sits right here on the, the door of the maker. Oh, your groovy. vinyl does slide up under and right into the grooves. Wow. See that? And then when you're done, you just slice it right here. Pretty cool. Huh? We're going in right now, huh? Well, you'll hit unload. Well, what will that do? I don't know. We'll have to see. So I'll cut it now and then uh -huh. hit unload? Uh-huh. I'm afraid unload was going to push it back. Let's see. No, right here. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, even the vinyl feels stiff. That's because you don't need a mat. Oh, man, we have to weed that thing. <laughs> Don't you love it when he realizes stuff like halfway through the project? No. Now you guys get to watch us figure out how to add the transfer tape <laughs> to an image this long. <laughs> well, well, we'll give you some lessons learned. <laughs> yeah, lesson learned. Don't do it so long. <laughs> So now I only have one, I don't know, about six inches exposed, and I'm gonna lay that down after we center our transfer tape on here. That looks pretty good to me. Looks good. Looks good here too. All right, well, we're in now, so no going back. Now we'll pull from underneath. I got you. Whoa, 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 I'm getting squirrely. All right, I'm back in. Oh, look at that. Oh, like professionals. <laughs> like professionals. <laughs> yep, look at us. We just went in for the long pull. <laughs> I am surprised that went so well. Yeah. Step. Ten. We're gonna lay down our design. Uh, this is where I, I'm dreading this part. You're scared of it. I am scared. We're starting from whose end? I don't think we should do both. Okay, go for it. You yeah, can start down there.
Man, using that heat gun to get the vinyl to stick down. I'm not sure if you can't tell if that's paint or vinyl. It really got in those cracks. Look at that. It looks so good. It looks so good. I'm so excited. Step 11. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to add the frame. We had these one by twos that we have at six foot. That's great because this is a six foot sign. So we're just going to pin these to the top and bottom. Then we'll measure for the sides. We're going to glue them down and then hit them with a one and a quarter inch brad. <laughs> How long are you going to The leave? nail, <laughs> not the guy. <laughs> six foot farmhouse sign with our herringbone tiles and chippy paint method and our six foot long vinyl piece i think it looks great so a little bit of a labor of love it took some work it actually wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be i thought it'd be a lot more pain in the butt it was just just multiple steps this yeah. one had a lot of steps in it a lot of steps but man i think it looks great it, it turned out exactly yeah. like i wanted it, it to turned out great exactly and like i envisioned it heating up the vinyl really made it hug the the board and almost looks painted on and i want to say thank you one more time to cricket our sponsor for this week's video we're loving that cricket maker 3 and i love that smart vinyl i love that there's no mess we're about out of time, so if you're not joining us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do building and make it again. Don't even think. Oh about yeah, it. I'm going uh, in. No, you're not. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, all right, ready? Ready. 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 And move your hand. Just move go. Your hand. Just go. And we're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. Move your hand. <laughs> I'm away, I'm away. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a workout.